So um, I will be talking here about two problems uh, which um, HBase users face um, quite frequently. Though I will be talking about um, HBase, um, those problems really uh, transferred to other uh, key value based or cone based uh, data stores. Uh, so, um, first problem, uh, it was uh, stressed out several times during the talks during this conference. Uh, basically, uh, when you have special row keys, uh, then you have a problem of region server hotspotting. Uh, what, what does it mean? Uh, that means um, that all writes that you have, they go um, in a single region server. And um, if you monitor uh, the world on the slaves, you probably will have something like this picture. So you see that um, one slave actually is busy and others are just waiting. Moreover, if you have um, your uh, row keys format based on the uh, timestamp, and if your application tends to read uh, most recent data, then uh, you also hitting the same region server with reads as well. Okay. Um, the reason why we use sequential keys is because we want to have uh, the ability to perform fast range scans. scans um, for example, we want to fetch uh, records uh, for a particular period or perform or process delta uh, that, that was just written. Um, so the direct solution would be to just use random keys, but that solution, um, well, it actually direct, so that's not interesting for us engineers. And it actually compromises the ability to do fast range scans. So the suggested solution it was actually mentioned on one of the presentations is to sort row keys um, with prefix uh, so that we are actually uh, dividing uh, original keys into the buckets based on the uh, row key prefix. Uh, and by doing that, we are hoping that each bucket is going to separate region and separate region server. Uh, so, um, in the end, we will uh, have, we will hopefully have um, the situation which um, showed uh, on the bottom. Um, so, we see that uh, all slaves are evenly uh, loaded, the load is distributed. So, the things to take care of here is that we are going to perform multiple scans when we are reading the written data because um, now we have those buckets and the number of uh, scans will be actually um, the same as number of buckets. So be carefully to uh, choose the prefixes. Well, and uh, custom MapReduce input format needed because, uh, because we uh, because uh, the default one actually um, accepts only single scan. So here comes HBase WD, uh, this uh, an open source project um, which implements all these things for you. It is uh, proven to work in production. The, those uh, screenshots actually were taken from uh, one of our systems. Um, so it really helped us. This, uh, the highlighted code is the only thing you need to add, uh, and it actually uses the same HBase API as we have, as we had before. So, there are some links. You you take a look at them later. Um, so, next thing is HBase HUD. Um, the problem here is that uh, for each update operation of the record, we usually want to uh, we usually need to perform get and put uh, operation. So this results in round trips to HBase uh, and costs a lot. Um, there are some alternatives, but they are limited. Um, what we want here is to handle high write peaks uh, without major performance degradation. 
um, without going back and forth there. So um, those are actually properties of age-based um, system, and th they actually um, the same for many other cone-based um, databases, uh, which are used to solve the problem gracefully. So this is actually the solution. We uh, store the data needed for update uh, and defer processing updates to some um, scheduled job, not necessarily MapReduce job, or perform uh, these updates when user reads the data because we don't want user to read the stale data. Just that's okay. Um, so these are some um, general use cases when you want to read when, when when you want to use it. Uh, for example, um, when you have uh, when you constantly perform get and put operations to update the data, and um, you realize that a lot of those updates are actually inserting new data, so those get operations are really redundant, and you can avoid them. And by using this approach, um, it actually it doesn't do it. Um, so HBase HUD is also open source project, uh, really tiny and it implements this uh, solution. It's not really um, yet ready for production, um, but it uh, implements already uh, the whole concept of this. And it uh, performs um, handling deferred processing uh, seamlessly for a client, uh, for a client code. Uh, so here, uh, it, it actually gives you hot put uh, and hot result scanner, which, impl which implement the uh, native um, age base classes. Um, the only thing you need to add is to um, define your update processing logic, um, which will actually combine those inserts into the updated record. Also, links. Um, they will be available later. And questions? I Thank you, Alex. First, there's a question. Hi. I thought what you are describing with HBase Hot is basically the write ahead log of HBase, and HBase stores um, the updates in memory um, until there is the next compaction. Um, What's the difference? Well, it may seem that we actually do uh, store it like a right ahead log, but it, we are not because we are not uh, aggregating uh, this um, insert data or uh, data that we need to update. We, we don't aggregate it, we don't keep it in uh, memory store or in, in RAM. We just uh, write it to um, HBase. So, um, um, Well, that's uh, at, at least this, um, the difference. And um, well, it can be compared um, with right ahead log. Yeah, it can be compared in terms of uh, the periodic uh, updates processing, like flash, flashes. Um, like rotating this log, but um, the inserts that that you do to store the data uh, in order to update um, the records, they actually distribute it along the cluster. Uh, so it's not like a single storage for um, right ahead log. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Um, then I would suggest to come to the next speaker, which is Otis.